did not ask for this fight, but a fight we must, and we must. There is no one I'd rather have leading us than President Biden and Vice President Harris. In the wake in the wake of Dobbs, they are doing everything within their power to defend reproductive freedom and the rights of women. In states across our nation, extremists have proposed and passed laws that criminalize doctors and punish women. Laws that make no exception even for rape and incest. And let us all agree, one does not have to abandon their faith or deeply held beliefs to agree the government should not be telling her what to do with her body. All these extremists say they are motivated by the health and the well-being of the women and children of America. In reality, they ignore the crisis of maternal mortality. <laughs> Former President Trump hand-picked, hand-picked three Supreme Court justices because he intended for them to overturn Roe. He intended for them to take your freedoms. He is the architect of this health care crisis. My name is Amanda Zorowski, and I live in Austin, Texas. In the spring of 2022, my husband and I learned I was pregnant. It was our first baby, a girl. Josh and I were over the moon. I had undergone grueling fertility treatment for a year and a half, so we were thrilled to finally have a baby on the way. As difficult as it was for us to get pregnant, my first trimester was smooth sailing. But then suddenly, at 18 weeks, I suffered catastrophic complications. My cervix had dilated prematurely and as my membranes had ruptured, there was no way to safely reverse course. We were with 100% certainty going to lose our baby girl. We were devastated. What I needed at that point was an abortion so I could safely and with dignity deliver my daughter. I needed to begin the healing process, both physically and emotionally. But unfortunately, this was post Roe, Texas. The near total abortion ban had gone into effect just after my water broke. Ending the pregnancy would have been considered an illegal abortion. And my doctor would be at risk of loss of her license or even jail time. I was told to wait. I had to wait until I got so sick that my life was considered in danger one of the rare exceptions where a doctor can intervene in Texas. It took three days in a near-death crash into septic shock before my doctor could finally provide the health care I desperately needed. After stabilizing my vitals enough to deliver our baby, Willow, I crashed again with another bout of sepsis and was transferred to the ICU. I lived. Others wouldn't be so lucky. What I went through was nothing short of barbaric, and it didn't need to happen. But it did because of Donald Trump. 
Over and over again, Donald Trump brags about killing Roe v. Wade. It is unthinkable to me that anyone could cheer on these abortion bans that nearly took my life. That's why we need to reelect President Biden and Vice President Harris. Thank you. Let's go, Joe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go, Joe. Thank you, please. Thanks for the introduction. You realize how much courage it takes to do what she did? We give so many young women hope. Jill and I had a chance to sit down. right to make deeply personal. We're going to have this going to go on for a while. We got a couple more of these, I think. And so do the majority of Americans, and they still do. We all know what happened a year and a half ago. A new Supreme Court made an extreme decision overturning Roe v. Wade with their, with their Dobbs decision. But as long as I have the power of the presidency, know this. If Congress were to pass a national abortion ban, I will veto it. I will veto it. But look, and let there be no mistake, the person most responsible for taking away this freedom in America is Donald Trump. <laughs> listen, listen, listen to what he says. Trump says he's proud that he overturned Roe v. Wade. He said, and I quote, there has to be punishment for the women exercising the reproductive freedom. He describes the Dobbs decision as a miracle, but for American women, it's a nightmare. MAGA Republicans are trying to limit all women in America from getting a safe and effective medication. And get this, in the state of Alabama, the Attorney General is threatening to prosecute family members who help their loved ones travel to another state to get health care they need. That can't be America. That can't be American 2024. It can't be. Since the Dobbs decision, all over this country, from Ohio to Kansas, Michigan, Kentucky, Wisconsin, and right here in Virginia, Americans have showed up, women and men of all races, all backgrounds, voting to protect the freedom to choose. What I said is there's one other person who doesn't have a clue about the power of women in America. It's Donald Trump. But I promise you in 2024, he's going to find out about the power of you all. Today is just a day to remember the anniversary of Roe v. Wade. Today is a day to call to action with your voice, with your power, with your vote. We can restore the protections that have been around for over 50 years under Roe v. Wade. We can. We can. Well, to do that, we need a new Congress. Are you ready to make that happen? 
Give me a Democratic House of Representatives and give me a bigger, a bigger Democratic Senate. And we will pass a new law restoring the protection of Roe v. Wade, and I will sign it immediately. <laughs> and let's remember, it was Donald Trump and his Supreme Court who ripped away the rights and freedoms of women in America. And it'll be Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and all of you who are going to restore those rights for the women in America. Let me close with this. I believe 2024 is going to be the most important election we've had since 1864. I mean it. And the reasons are clear. Democracy is on the ballot. Freedom is on the ballot. Like the freedom to choose. The freedom to vote. The freedom to love who you want. The freedom to go to work, go to school, go to your house of worship without fear of being gunned down by a weapon of war. <laughs> so my question to you is simple. Are you ready? Are you ready to defend democracy? Are you ready to protect our freedoms? And are you ready to win this election? Let's get this done. Talk to your families and friends. Organize your community. Register to vote. Get people to the polls. And let's remember who we are. We are the United States of America. And there's nothing, nothing beyond our capacity when we do it together. May God bless you all and may God protect our troops. Thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. You heard me say this before. Every time I'd walk out of my grandfather's house, he'd yell, Joey, keep the faith. Guess what? My grandmother will know Joey. Spread it. Let's spread the faith. Thank you.